Welcome back, everybody. Man, pretty shot out there. Tucker will be along shortly. Give us the latest on the weather. In the meantime, enjoy your crisp morning. Well, dieting is rarely a fun thing to do, right? And a lot of us are trying to get a couple of pounds off, but we're failing as we try to lose that weight over and over again. So our next guest says the big reason is that we're focusing too much on calories and too little on nutrients. Sounds, makes sense to me. Creator Greenlaw is the co-author of the book, Why Diets Are Failing Us, and he joins us in studio now. Okay, good morning. <laughs> How are you? And in, in, in full disclosure, I, I count the calories just as a lifestyle so I can know where I am, but you're absolutely right. If I junk up my day with a big bowl of whatever Frosted Flakes, then that's not getting the best, I'm sure. Yeah, well, there's such misconceptions. As a matter of fact, a lot of times I watch TV and it like makes my hair on fire when they just talk about reducing calories. So here's what we know. The enemy is not calories. The enemy is actually toxins. And what's now been proven by the American Society of Endocrinologists is we ingest these toxins in water, air, and food. What the body does is it's only defense. We're actually evolving, and we're taking toxins, and we're stuffing them in fat cells. Mm. And no amount of exercise and no amount of dieting will get rid of them. Okay. So no matter what you do, you're, sort of, you're at a, a disadvantage. Now, to give you an idea, this is a head of lettuce, okay? Mm -hmm. UCLA did a study in 1953 comparing a basically a head of lettuce uh, then nutritionally to today. And today they estimate you'd have to eat 42 heads of lettuce to equal one head of lettuce from 1953. My goodness. An apple from 1976. One apple in 1976 today, you'd have to eat between 8 and 12 apples. So obviously, that has nothing to do with the calories. It has mm -hmm. everything to do with the nutrients. They also recently did a study on obese children. Many of those children were suffering from rickets and scurvy, which mm. are diseases of malnutrition. In 2014. Yes. Okay. Yes. So now let's let's back it up, and for those who aren't completely familiar with why a head of lettuce would be less, you know, packed with nutrients, why is that? Is that the, the genetic modification of our foods? Mm. Is what is that exactly? No, it's really because of the herbicides and pesticides that we've used in the soil over the hundred years. We've destroyed the most important nutrient in the soil, and those are the minerals. Okay. Which are major minerals, micro minerals, and what are called trace elements. Okay. Which basically make up the periodic table. Mm -hmm. They're part of nature, they're part of the world. And I've never, I haven't seen anyone on television talk about nutritional density and or how do we get these toxins out of our body. So, how, so what can we do starting today to change the way that we eat? Is it the way that we shop or how can we do this? <laughs> and, and tell us about the other props. Maybe that helps to illustrate what we're talking about. <laughs> well, the point is that, okay, let's say this. See, nature made an orange, mm -hmm. okay? Nature never made orange juice. Okay. And in nature's wonder, in this orange, there's fiber and there's pulp, which slows down the release of glucose. When you drink orange juice, where they've removed all the fiber and all the pulp, it absolutely gives you an insulin spike. When you get an insulin spike, it tells the body to store fat. Okay. So we're, we got it upside down. I mean, I'm not saying I'd never drink orange juice, but like for kids, I normally cut it like half with water. Mm -hmm. But let me come back to the main point. The main point is that toxicity, as it's entering our body, we're building these fat cells to protect us basically from the toxins, okay? okay. So what, what, what I've done over the last 11 years when we wrote the first book is we focused on the fact that the enemy was not calories, it was toxins. Mm -hmm. Because again, why would it make any sense to lower caloric intake when we know, for example, that our food is com almost completely nutritionally bankrupt, especially of these minerals, micro minerals, and these trace elements. Nobody's focusing on that. It seems to me it's like crazy. So, okay, twofold then. Um, so how do we basically arm ourselves w w with what we need to not in ingest the toxins, right? And then also how do we get more minerals and micro minerals into our diet? <laughs> well, first of all, minerals, micro minerals are things that you can buy, you know, at a health food store to give you the minerals. But more importantly, you need to start to avoid the things that we know are loaded with toxins, okay? okay? And that could be everything from... Uh, like, I basically don't drink tap water. I drink mm. bottled water. Mm -hmm. um, and awareness now, there's a lot of things on the, on the Internet where you can go. I've trained a whole team of what we call um, TDOS advisors who advise people about uh, answering those kinds of questions. Like, what is toxic? What should we try and avoid? You know, okay. et cetera. But the problem is it's in our dry cleaning. It's in our shampoos. It's in our toothpaste. It's everywhere. Mm -hmm. So you're right. Awareness is a huge part of the solution. But we've got to get off this thing about counting calories. Do you know the human body can't count calories? Mm. The only way it can measure a calorie is in a laboratory. Okay. And a calorie is simply the amount of heat it takes to raise one gram of water one degree Celsius. It's not a physical thing. 
Okay. So when you look at some of these things and you look at the caloric intake, what we're not talking about is what's the nutrient density. What are the nutrients that we're consuming? Mm -hmm. See, it's not about counting calories. It's about making every calorie count. I've had people over the last 11 years, I work with people who weigh 600 pounds. I've had people lose, I had a guy in Denver that lost 387 pounds in 22 months, no loose skin by detoxing his mm -hmm. body. So when we pick up the book, Why Diets Are Failing Us, there's a how-to, I guess, and the minerals that we need, because we've got to let you go. But um, Well, and also we actually have a group here in Washington okay. called uh, De uh, DetoxDC.com, mm -hmm. where they can actually talk to someone live that will advise them Very about all of this stuff. Okay. It's fascinating. It's Peter uh, Greenlaw's new book. He's a co-author of Why Diets Are Failing Us. And... Um, they are failing us, and we, <laughs> every other story is how obese we are as a nation and how, how ill we are. We've got 70% so. of America overweight now, right. and 2 billion people worldwide overweight. 2 billion. Numbers are too high. Um, Wisdom and Tucker, over to you. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. All right, time now to talk weather. Good morning to you, Tucker Barnes. Yeah, again. good morning. I couldn't.